Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the jellyfish. After crocheting uh, the octopus, I thought to myself, well, I can make a similar and uh, make a create a jellyfish. So I've been taking notes all these months, but never had a chance to do the tutorial. So today I'm on it. It is uh, very similar to the octopus uh, tutorial that I did, but I just did some extra work for uh, for two uh, for for that reason. As you know, the octopus does didn't have a face. You know, newborn babies they don't know. So uh, this is for more um, bigger babies or toddlers or even for adults, ki uh, children that can um, play around with these toys. So I put the safety eye and uh, I did the sewing on the mouth and on the eyebrow. I just let this one let it go just to, you know, give a simple look. So what you need is, again, I use cotton yarn, but this one I use velvet. I had uh, I had this ve uh, velvet Burnett baby blanket. It's uh, it's thin. It says it's a four weight, but it's more like a light three. And I use this on that uh, uh, jellyfish. And on this one I used uh, Care on Cake. Uh, the white cotton and on these I just use just to give a different look so I use different colors of cotton that I had in my stash so for this tutorial because it's really hard to work with variegated yarn and for you guys to see well it's it's not hard to work but for you for you guys to see it's hard to see for that reason I am going to be using this yarn that I bought from Hobie Denmark and it's 100% cotton it says 8.4 it's uh it is a thin yarn. It says a one. So um yeah, so it's gonna be way smaller than what you see. Like when I measure it, like you can use any yarn, you don't have to use this, but you know, when you're a yarn hoarder, it's really hard for you <laughs> to use your yarn from your stash. So this is about uh I would say if I lay it down. It's just just about seven inches long so that would be about 18 centimeter and if you use a bulkier yarn of course it's going to be bigger so it depends on what you use and you don't use you don't have to use the cotton you can use any yarn that you have in your stash but I would uh, I like to use cotton okay so um, I have other colors here in my stash but it's going to be hard for you to see like red and uh, fushi, fuchsia, dark pink. But again, uh, for uh, tutorial purposes, I'm going to use this for you. And then I will uh, flip the board because some people are having a hard time with that being gray and that being gray. So I will change it. So I will pick up, uh, you need, uh, if you want to put safety pins, um, safety eyes on your uh, jellyfish. I bought these from Amazon. You can buy it from AliExpress. They're more cheaper, but then when I was buying, uh, they weren't shipping worldwide because of the virus. I guess now they are because I did buy a couple of stuff after the past two months and it did arrive. So uh, it's more reasonable on AliExpress because it's made in China. Uh, Amazon is like, I think I paid 10 or 15 Canadian for this and there's a hundred piece so I have I have to make a lot of uh, omigurumi to use up this again you can use any yarn from your stash so let's get started and I will put uh, the pattern I'm thinking on the description right underneath the video it says uh, I don't know if for on your cell phone I, I heard that people are having a hard time finding that or I can put a link to my uh, blog because uh, unfortunately Facebook, <laughs> someone I guess complained. Um, they sent me a message that my products are not their lies. So someone must have complained. For that reason, I'm not posting anything on Facebook until I don't know. I had my account over 12 years. And suddenly I receive a message 
just recently. I don't know why. That's what I'm assuming. Someone must have put a complaint that uh, I'm lying. <laughs> as you can see, as you can see, I'm not lying. This everything is in front of me. So again, I am going to use the pattern for the octopus that I wrote, but up to some point, and then I changed. <clears throat> I changed, so I will uh, put everything on the description. Okay, I will show a close look for you to see. Okay, I did poke my needle, so I, if I don't forget that at the end, this is what I do. And it gives that nice jellyfish look. <laughs> and I do it in one piece. I do not do it separately. That is ridiculous for me to sew these separately. So I do everything in one piece. And uh, it's way easy. And when you're finished, you're finished. But the end, you have to do this part. Because... Uh, this is the skirt of the jellyfish, right? <laughs> it gives that nice, uh, yeah, and this one as well. So uh, working with one color is way better. But if you want to work with two different colors, so I finished it at the end. Like I finished mine and I poked my needle. I went back and forth and I made this. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to point this out. If I forget at the end of the tutorial... At the end, that's what you do. You just poke it back. Poke your needle and then poke it back. Okay. So I will just grab my crochet hook and I'll be right back. I have grabbed my three, point, three millimeter crochet hook. So we're going to make a adjustable loop or magic loop, whichever you want to call it. And I this is how I make it. And I chain one. And then we're going to fill it with six single crochets. Two three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm just going to pull it. And then, okay, I noticed, I don't know if you guys noticed, when you put your marker, you have, it's very uncomfortable. So what I've been doing is I've been just using a yarn and putting it like this. Because you can't crochet when there's the marker there, right? So this way it won't affect that much. Okay, so on, on the next second row, we're going to double crochet on each. Two single crochets on each single crochet. So you should have a total of 12 single crochets. So two single crochets on each. Oh, I missed this one. Did I? Here we go. Okay, let's go back and count. Always count at the end. We don't want to have more or less. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So I need to crochet. How come it's eleven? Okay, let me go back and check. So I did two, four, six, see, I do six, eight, ten. I have to do one more here because it's increasing and then we need to move our stitch marker. So what I do is I just go like this and then I make a single crochet here and I just pull this. It, it's, it's very better than I would know where I need to come. So on the third row we're going to do, and, and again I'm going to write this on the bottom so you don't have to be confused. So on the third row, I am going, we're going to crochet two single crochet in every second stitch. So one single crochet and then the next is double. One, two. So one single crochet and the next is double. One, two. Okay, and then I will meet you back here and then you should have a total of 18 single crochets. 
Okay, now we're on row four, and what we're going to do is two single crochet in every third stitch. And then at the end, you should have 24 stitch single crochets. So again, I'm just going to move my marker. This is what I do. It's so fun. And then I don't have to, you know, worry about it. This is easy. I don't know. It's just, I don't know if anyone else does it this way. Where's my gray yarn? My goodness. I wanted to do with my green yarn. Again, I went and bought green yarn. As I don't have enough green. I love this lime green. So um, I will do a stream live on October. And you guys will see my yarns that I bought. Okay, so uh, on the fourth row, I, again, I start with a single crochet. And I just move this just like this. So one, two single crochet. And on the third, we do double. This is how we do our increase. Okay, one single crochet, two single crochet, and then two. Okay, I will meet you at the end. This is all we do this row. And again, you should have a total of 24 stitches. So count one, two, always count two, and then double. Okay, I'll be right back to meet you here. Okay, now we're on row five. We're going to do single crochet in every fourth stitch. So we're increasing. So at the end, you should have a total of 30 single crochets. Okay, so I'm going to do one, two, three. And on the fourth, we're going to do double. Two single crochets on the same spot so we're increasing again one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet on the fourth we do two single crochets on the same spot okay I will let you crochet all the way at the end and you should have a total of 30 stitches now this is going to be small <laughs> okay so we're gonna do the last increase on row six and we're gonna do two single crochet in every fifth uh, stitch and then at the end you should have a total of 36. I don't know, this is how I do it. And uh, and the size is pr pretty good enough, decent. So uh, I moved my marker again. So I'm going to do one, single crochet, two single crochet, three, four, and on the fifth, four on the fifth, we do two single crochets on the same single crochet. Okay, again, we repeat this all the way around one, two, three, four. And on the fifth, you will notice that you're on the same, on top of the same increase that we did on the previous. Okay, after we finish this row, I will come to row seven. And again, oh, did I end my increase while I was talking? I did. So I will come and uh, to row seven. Okay, so I have finished row six. And now we're going to do row seven till row 12. So we have 36 stitches on our... Uh, in our hand right now so we're just going to continue going around and around doing single crochets from row 7 to row 12 so just move your marker that's what I do I just move my marker here and I make a single crochet just like this and I make a single crochet on the next one and I don't have to move my marker for another how many rows five rows I believe yeah and then uh, what we do is we go around and around making single crochet so I'll meet you back on when we finish uh, row 12 on row 13 we will start doing some decrease 
and you will notice that uh, your head is becoming bigger okay so I'll meet you back okay so I just finished row 12 and we're going to be I counted always count so I have 36 single crochets and then I start the next row I know it just moves a little bit because well exactly it's on the same spot if we look at it see because we didn't do any uh, increase now we're going to start our doing our decrease just to start our decrease on row 13 we're going to do it on the back loop because on the front loop we're going to do that um, do the skirt we're gonna do this but we're gonna do it later I try to do it at once yeah you know what I will do it at once first let's do the back loop we're gonna do our decrease so what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're gonna do three single crochet and then we're gonna do our decrease one decrease on the back loop and I found a way to a uh, nice way to do it I don't know if it's out there or I don't know I made it up but I think it's it's nice it's uh, it doesn't leave a hole remember I always showed my trick on uh, not to do the hole so I'm gonna move my marker because uh, we're gonna start doing our decrease but we're gonna start from the back loop okay that's very important because on the front loop we're gonna do our uh, skirt let me see if I can I try to do those but uh yeah maybe I can do it I like to do everything at once so I don't have to you know start over again so let me see so we're gonna do one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet see I'm grabbing the back loop as you can see and this will close up and now I'm gonna do my decrease this is how I found a way so I go to this first loop and I go to the next one see I grab two loops so two single crochets and I pull these two first see it's invisible you don't see anything and then I pull the remaining you only see this so and then there's no holes or nothing in between here so let's repeat this so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and on the next we grab it from here and then we grab it from here just like this and then we pull the first two they're gone and then we pull the remaining two see don't even see it it's it's invisible but you have to count because sometimes you get lost and you have to frog it all the way back to find out which where you are because you can't see where your decrease is I just love it I don't know if it's out there if it's not then I can pat my back <laughs> okay so I'm gonna repeat this all the way I think at the end you should have 22 single crochets let's do it one more time so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and then we do one two and then we pull at once and then we pull not at once we pull two and we pull two so again I'll show you one more time one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet one two we pull the first two what we picked and then we pull the remaining okay so I'll meet you at the end where we started okay I counted I have 29 stitches well I'm sorry I have and then I do the last one so it would, it would be 30 stitches so we got rid of uh, six stitches okay now we're going to do um did I write this down 30 okay now we're on the row 14 we're gonna do yeah you know, let me move this So I do one single crochet, two single crochet, and then I do it decrease. On the back again, back loop. 
Oh, I was gonna, yeah. See, I, I, I tried to go back to do the skirt, but it's really hard. So that's why we do it at the end, unfortunately. And then we just pick up these stitches to make the skirt. So I will do that at the end. It doesn't work. I tried. See, even, how am I going to jump here? You know what? Maybe I can. Let's try this. If we just want to finish it at once, right? So we did our 30 stitches. What we can do is <laughs> we can jump here, right here. <laughs> I'm doing this in front of you. The other ones I did the, did them at the end. So uh, why not? Make it up. Don't don't be scared. Just do what you think. This is what I'm this is what I always been doing. I just do what I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip stitch right here. And then I'm going to jump one. And then on the next one I'm going to make uh I think uh, I did four double crochets on the same stitch to give that nice look. That shell look. So on this first one, next door, we make a slip stitch. Uh, the single crochet doesn't work because it, it makes it bigger. It doesn't look good. So I skip the next one and uh, on the skip one and then on the next one, we make four double crochets. I'll show you why I don't make single crochets. I'll just show you and then you can see. Okay, and then the fourth. So if I make a single crochet, see, this is way higher. We want this to go all the way down like this. That's the reason we're making it slip stitch. We don't want it high. We just want it to go all the way down. On blankets or other stuff, when I make cell shell stitches borders, I do make single crochet. But for this particular, we don't want it to go high. So I skip the next loop and then I grab that and then I repeat this all the way end and I finish the skirt all at once so I don't have to worry about coming back to finish the skirt. Okay and then I go to the next one and make a slip stitch and I skip. Don't forget to skip because we need space and then we make again four double crochets and this is how it looks like. See, this will be the skirt, and this will be the bottom the, of the uh, jellyfish. Okay, so we're going to come back to finish, come back to the, which row were we? We were on 14 to fin start the 14, and it, it won't be that hard at all. So I will come back here, where we were, uh, here, and uh, so you just repeat this, four double crochet, and then you go to the next one, you make a slip stitch and you skip one. I didn't even bother writing this down because it's easy. So if you get confused, just go to the tutorial because I'm not going to bother writing this down. And then I make a slip stitch on the next one. And then I skip one and I make four double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you back. Okay, so I'm going to crochet the last four double crochets. I didn't even count how many I did. Three. And then four. Okay, so I come here to do... I'll just come here to do my slip stitch. And we're done. So I'm going to, to jump back here. Remember, we were doing um, two single crochet, so nothing to worry about. We finished the skirt all at once. I really like this color, and it's really nice to work with. You can make lovely shawls with this yarn. So I make two single crochet. Oh, I did. Uh, uh, I didn't do the back loop. You don't have to because we're done that's the main thing what we were uh, working on on these I did do the back loop can't even see it see 
I did the back loop on the other one too. You don't have to because we're done, right? Who's going to see the bottom? It was this part that, that we had to do. Oh, this is popping <laughs> so bright. And this is the reason that we did on the back loop. So you don't have to. And automatically I continued crocheting normal. So, uh, yeah. So I did my two single. What did I do? Let's start all over. I think I missed it. So I came here, I did one single crochet, and then I'm doing a, another single crochet, and then I'm grabbing it from here, and then I'm pulling off once, just like this. So I did my decrease. So I go to the next one, one single crochet, two single crochet and I grab it just like this so continue doing your decrease one single crochet two sing single crochet I believe you will have 24 stitches because we're doing the re reverse. Remember how we did it? How we did it at the beginning? How we did it at the beginning? So we're going to be, we're doing this right now, but we're decreasing. So you should have, oh, I'm sorry. So we're doing this two single crochet and we're doing our decrease. So you should have 24 stitches. Okay, so I'll, I'll meet you back where we started and we will start doing row uh, 15 okay I counted over and over I have 22 stitches uh, I don't know how that happened maybe because I skipped here I lost two stitches uh, I don't know so should be 24 but uh yeah it's okay nothing to worry about so it's the time that we need to put our uh, eyes because this is getting smaller and it's going to be hard so I'm just going to grab my safety eyes. Or if you don't have safety eyes, you can sew them up. Just grab the two and I'll be right back. So I just turned because I don't want to put it here where the ending row, starting row. So I just do it randomly. <laughs> so what I do is I just count two, four, put one eye here. It's too close. I go up. And I poke the other eye. Just like this. Okay. And uh, let me grab my black my cotton yarn. I don't want to, well, maybe I should secure it because it's uh, tough. And when you secure it, like when you put this back, you can't move it. So be sure that you have it on the right spot. I know it's hard to poke this. So you need to press, ah, because it's tight. And when you poke it, you can't move it. It's impossible. <laughs> or else you have to break it or, you know, it's not worth it. Just leave it. Huh? This one went easy. And we have our eyes. See? You can even leave it like this. It's cute. Okay. So on here, I even made some uh, eyebrows. <laughs> you don't have to. I think it's cricket. I don't know. Yeah, it's supposed to be this way and that way, but, uh, so I'll be grabbing my thread. I have this gorgeous, gorgeous mercerized yarn that I have. It's pretty thick, so I, this is what I've been using. I'm going to make a knot just to, just to be on the safe side. So what I'll do is I'm going to make the mouth like this. And it's tough. It's not easy. Okay, so what I do is... 
go like this. Oh, great knot. Can I pull it gently, not too tight? Okay, and I go like this. And then what I do is, oops, I went high. I'm so sorry. Jeez. <laughs> and then this is how I do it. So give it a little bit of smiley face. So I skip one single crochet in between, as you can see. And then I come back and I pull it. Just like this. And then if you want to make the eyebrow, I jump. I jump here. This is how I do it. And I come back. And I do the same. Here other eyebrow oh no what the hell happened great I went between oh I went between the yarn oh jeez great I have to pull this up <laughs> I went between the, the yarn Why is this between? Okay. No problem. It happens. Okay, so I jumped. I jumped here. Uh, See, there's, I have to count, there's one single crochet between here, and then I have to make one single crochet, so, like this, just to give it a little bit of space. There. You can, or if you know how to do better you can do it better this one kind of moved around but ta-da this is the face <laughs> yeah you can make flowers for girls well i think this is going to be for a boy and i just tie it just like this well tie it i mean like this i make a knot to secure it because we don't want that to come out right the end Just like this and I don't want this as my first knot it's right here so I don't want this to come out I think that's secure and I just move it I just uh, weave it around this is all I do okay let me just finish this and I'll be right back so this is how it looks like. So we're going to fill this because it's going to get smaller and smaller the more we... Well, one row, I think we're going to do one or two more row. And then we're going to be uh, finishing it up with the arms. So I'm just pulling like this. This is how I do it. And I start filling. I fill it until it's nice and soft. I don't want it that hard. So uh, I keep on filling. And I'll be right back. So I grab some more like this. That kind of. Try 
my two crazy drivers. I'm sure you guys can hear how they're <laughs> driving. And ta-da! It's, it's full. It's enough. Okay, so I'm going to do... So we have, uh, we need to have uh, 16 uh, single crochets. So we need to do, we were on row 15. Oops, I lost. No, don't go away. I lost it. I lost my decrease. Well, then I would have, what did I do? Oh my goodness, I lost it. I must have frogged. So this is the decrease. I can see it. Two single crochet and my decrease it's kind of tight because we're using the two loops okay so decrease okay I'm just gonna move this and then so we're gonna do one single crochet from here it's really hard to do the way that I showed you the decrease so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like this my regular decrease so I got rid of one so one single crochet I got rid of the second one single crochet third single crochet I'm getting rid of One single crochet got rid of four one single crochet getting rid of, rid of, rid of five one single crochet and then six I believe let's count we should have 16 stitches single crochets so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen perfect okay now we're gonna do the arms oh my goodness what happened here okay so I'm going to chain 43 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, be right back. Okay, so I chained 43 chains, now we're making this. I started with, it doesn't matter, you can start with this, or you can start with this, either one would work. For this one, to make, to have this curly, uh, if you looked at my uh, octopus tutorial, I did three single crochets on the first. Well, every single crochet, so I get skip one, two on the third. That's why we did 43. So on the 40th, or uh, you just skipped, just skip one, two, two, three, whichever. And then you make a total of three single crochets, two, Three. And then you go to the next one, and then you make, again, three single crochets. So on every chain, you make three single crochets. So that will twist it. Okay, so I will crochet all the way, and I'll meet you at the end. And the more you crochet, the chain will get smaller. So three single crochets on each chain. I'm not going to write this. I'm just writing... Uh, how you start and how you end so these this is our these are just uh i might uh, write it down so you won't get confused so to oh, but you can refer it to the tutorial that's the reason i'm making the tutorial so three so every chain three single crochet and i'll be right back okay so i finished my last three stitches and this is how it looks like it does curl up so 
I'm going to make a single crochet on the next single crochet and then another single crochet on the next single crochet and then I'm going to chain 30 now we're going to make uh, these these on the octopus I made eight but on this one I'm making uh, four of this and four of this you can change color if you want but uh, for a uh, tutorial purposes I'm just using one color okay so I'm going to chain 30 and I'll be right back after chaining 30 so on the next chain I am going to make a single crochet and I'm going to make single crochets on each chain all the way so this is how we make one of the four of the arms this and then four of the others the one that I just showed and this is all to it so I will finish this and we will I will show you the next part what we do and it does curl a bit even we're doing single crochets on um, each chain See, it does curl a bit, a bit okay so I did single crochet on each and this is how it looks like and then I repeat so I come and I make a single crochet and then I make another single crochet so I make this all the way around so I repeat one like this and one like this and I continue making it all the way around so this is going to take me a while and then it will uh, this will get smaller and smaller and then we're almost done so continue crocheting 43 chains and uh, and then after you finish this you chain 32 crochet this again 43 chains and then you make three single crochet on each chain to create this and I will come back to show you how to finish it up we're almost done okay I am finishing the last arm and you finish it with this one the eighth and <laughs> it got twisted here okay so I pull my last single crochet and we're done just checking if I had more but no so I come right here and I make my single crochet okay and then now we're doing our decreases and I pull together okay and I jump here so I twist I put my arm on this side and then I grab to the next single crochet this is how I did my octopus as well and I, I'm using the same technique so I'm doing my decrease and I pull it once okay and I pull this here and I go to the next and I go to the next and I pull it once so I'm, I'm decreasing and I do the same automatically oh here we are grab the first and the second and then pull all at once so this is a what, what we do our decrease that's why I don't have to do another oh, did I do so I come here you should have two single crochets between on each remember it was 16 single crochets so one two okay I think we came where we started okay so now what we're going to do is oh no not where we started I think this is the last one was it no not yet so we keep on doing our decrease are we there yet I think one more one two 
one and uh, oh I went wrong really hard to see but it's here okay and then I pull at once okay okay now we're back where we started okay now what I'm going to do is always have your arms in front of you we don't want to do a single crochet if it's like this then it won't work right so always pull it in front like this pull it down Okay, now we're going to jump here. It's going to be tight. Okay, I don't like the hole. There's a huge hole, so I'm just going to grab it from underneath. And this way I can secure it. I don't know why that happened. It does happen, so nothing to worry about. And hold that, and then go to the next right here. Or even where I do my uh, technique, remember, I just to get rid of the hole I go between there we don't want a huge hole and then you have two loops and then you will pull all of them together okay now we repeat this see there's a big gap there <laughs> so I come here underneath Then I pull, then I go to the next one. You don't have to, but I like it when, when there's no holes. And then pull them together, just like this. So you will see that your circle is getting smaller and smaller. Okay, so I'm going to do that all the way. Now this is going to be tough. So try to grab it where you can see the V here. Can you see it? Just grab it from there. I can't show you. We can't do that the new technique that I showed because it's really tight. And then I go to the next here. <laughs> it's really hard to go between, but go try to go as tight as you can. Yeah. And then grab it and pull it at once okay and then I think we can do one more okay unfortunately I'm just gonna go between here and grab it and there's no more room yet there so I'm just gonna go to the one across and I'm gonna pull these three loops at one and then you are done okay I'm just gonna chain two just to secure it and pull as tight as I can then I'm going to cut my yarn. Try to cut a little bit long because we're going to do that, that thingy that I showed at the beginning. <laughs> okay, we're done. Ta-da! We're not done yet, but we're last. We're going to do our last step. Oh, I forgot to turn this upside down. Just one moment. So sorry about that. <laughs> okay, here we are. Can you see this is close, close to the eye? Yeah, Nick, well, it's okay. I'm not going to bother, but uh, it's handmade, right? See, this one is pretty far. I think this one looks way, well, one eyebrows is kind of, uh, you know, when you, and, uh, and natural, when you look at your, when you look at your face in the mirror, you will see that it's not symmetric it's just a little bit different from left to right so it's okay I, I won't worry about that so this is how it's done and I just pull this wow this is a long tutorial isn't it well there's so many details that's the thing and I didn't want oh did a mistake here I didn't want you guys to miss it miss anything so I try to show step by step and uh, I really like this yarn like it did not split okay so I am poking poking my needle right in the middle all the way in the middle here can you see it 
just gonna pull it as tight as I can okay and then I'm just gonna go and poke it back but not on the same spot because we want that uh, um, like a buttonhole like a, you know it's a little bit of thingy where the uh, jellyfishes have and I'm poking it back to the bottom And I'm gonna pull all the way. See? See? Gives that nice look. And then I might do it. All of them are. <laughs> the arms are in the middle. Okay, I don't wanna. So here we go. So I'll just poke it anywhere else just to secure it so I'll just poke it here and I'll just go randomly in the same spot because and this is how it looks like see then I, I am going to weave this Just like this. This is how I do it. I weave it. And we're done. And I'll just cut this. Because uh, I did go around a couple of times. And then I just cut it and we're done. Okay. And this is how it looks like. If you want, you can make a, well, it's, this is more like for a, it's a unisex, but a boys, you don't want to put flower or you can crochet a hat on here and then sew it if you want to make it more fancy. But this is how I uh, created this lovely jellyfish. <laughs> I hope you like this tutorial. Okay. If you're still here. I have a yarn giveaway <laughs> for the ones who's uh, who likes to watch my tutorials to the end and I'm sure uh, my subscribers are watching so I am going to be giving away this yarn this yarn this yarn that I bought from Hobby I bought I think five bags or four bags I'm gonna make myself a card again but I want I have I have extras like I have uh, three more bags like this so uh I'm okay. So I thought to myself, let me do a giveaway. I already have one giveaway. And this is the second. So uh, all I need you to ask, I'm all, only asking you to write down on the bottom. Don't say yarn giveaway. Don't say yarn at all. If you can write down Black Friday. eight slash four the number of this yarn is eight slash four eight slash four then i will know that you have been watching and you will be entered into the drawing drawing so i will only submit uh, uh my uh, the, the comments that i receive black black friday eight slash four it's 100% cotton, and you will be receiving these 10 balls of yarn. And each ball of yarn is 100 gram, and it doesn't split. I just love it. It's nice. And like I said, stay tuned. I am going to be making a cardigan for myself with this color. And I'm just going to use one ply. And it's 100% cotton. So again, if you're watching this tutorial, please write down Black Friday 8 slash 4. That's the number of the yarn, I guess. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would highly recommend you to subscribe it so you will get this lovely 
package and uh I will do the drawing August 1st. Maybe I will do a live stream. I don't know. Because I have the other yarn giveaway as well. And uh, I would love you to uh, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching my tutorials. And uh, this way you will be entered. Because I can see. I would highly recommend you to uh, open your... Uh, open to public so I can see that you have subscribed to my channel because I don't want to bother sending you messages to ask you proof it takes forever and uh, I will ask you to email me and uh, I might ask uh, secret code that you will need to go back and write it on, on your comment if you are the winner because uh, I did in the previous if you have watched my giveaways I did have a couple of people pretending to be winners, and it was a nightmare. <laughs> Even I did send yarn, but they came back, so I don't want to go through that. It's it's a headache. So uh, I hope you like this tutorial. Please give me the thumbs thumbs up. Happy crocheting. Stay home. Stay safe, and take care. La 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 la